maybe you've had this experience where you attempted to articulate a biblical truth, a scriptural truth, or you attempted to point out what the Bible said about a specific situation. And the moment you did, it was like the whole world attacked you like a pack of dogs, accusing you of judging. And Christians should not judge because Jesus told you not to judge. And uh, that, you know, is not really what the Bible says for us to do. Now, Jesus said, do not judge. And I'm going to explain to you exactly what he meant by what he said. But let me first read to you nine other times the Bible told you to actually judge. It says that you ought to judge with a righteous judgment. This is John 7, 24. It says that you ought to judge all things. This is in John 7, 24. It says you should judge sin within the church. 1 Corinthians 2, 15 and 16. It says to judge matters between two brothers. 1 Corinthians 6, 5. It says to judge the preaching that you hear. 1 Corinthians 14, 24. It says that you are to judge false spirits and those who preach and teach counterfeit gospels and false doctrines. This is in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 1 and 4. It says that you ought to judge the works and the workers of darkness. Ephesians 5, verse 11. It commands you to judge false prophets and false apostles. 2 Peter 2 and 1 John 4, verse 1 and Revelation 2, verse 2. And finally, it tells you to judge false Christians among you, 1 John 2, verse 18 through 20. There's nine times Christians are told to judge. You might say, well, then what did Jesus mean when he said, do not judge? If you read the whole chapter, it'll be very clear to you. Jesus was saying, do not judge this way, but rather judge that way. Don't judge according to your own opinions. Judge according to scriptures. Don't judge other people's sins that you yourself are guilty of. That's why he said, you, you see the splinter in somebody else's eye, but you don't realize you have a plank in your own eye. You, you are as guilty and more guilty of the same thing you're attempting to point out in their lives. So that's what Jesus said. That's what he meant by what he said. But yet at the same time, he wants you to uh, first look at yourself. And then make sure that you are able to discern right from wrong, good from evil, unrighteous sin from righteousness. People who say, do not judge, I actually don't understand how they themselves can discern between right and wrong at all. You see, it's not a scriptural concept to say, do not judge, without also explaining the context in which Jesus told us not to judge. Because only then, does it all fit together if you look at all the other nine times you are told to judge? So hopefully this clarifies some of the confusion regarding the do not judge people. And hopefully uh, you yourself will never be judgmental, but that you will be discerning between right and wrong, and that you'll be able to counsel and minister according to God's word. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We hope that you're blessed by these video messages my husband Jacques is putting out. If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to like and follow. We love you, we're praying for you, and thanking God for His plans and purposes to prosper in your life.